How was your day? You didn't tell me. How did it go? Um, did you have a busy day? I uh, slept practically whole morning till the midday. <laughs> uh, it's uh, um, yesterday I had uh, the second time of my uh, radiation yeah. therapy, and I re really felt bad after after that. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. headache. Uh, also, my uh, chew was. Uh, I don't know why, but. Um, well, you couldn't chew properly. Uh, yeah, yeah. You had difficulty chewing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And only in uh, this morning uh, I got better. <laughs> and I can. Uh, I, I could to eat uh, easy. <laughs> easy. You, you were uh, able yesterday. to eat. Yeah. Yeah, you were able to eat properly. Yeah. So I presume you're you're off work. You're not working these days. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm uh, in a long vacations. Uh, maybe next morning uh, I will try to. Uh, go to work mm -hmm. at least for a couple of days. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully, you'll be able to go. But in general, in general, uh, today uh, I have I had a good time. I played the saxophone mm -hmm. and I wrote some music as usual. Yes. <laughs> and. It was really uh, exciting. That's yeah. good. That's excellent. Um, okay, let's welcome Xenia. Hello, Xenia. Welcome. Nice to see you. Hello again. Hello. Uh, how was your day, Xenia? Uh, it was a very interesting day for me. I was cooking all day. And then I went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Did you cook any more meatballs or something else? I cooked meatball and then I tried to cook cookies with ginger, Christmas cookies. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's that time of the year again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you, so you love, you love baking cookies, yeah? Yeah. That's nice. That's cool. And how did it go? How did it? Did the I think the final of cookies is very interesting. It was a uh, shape of animals: deer, square, wolf. <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, you said you tried to cook, uh, to bake these cookies. Now, haven't you? Haven't done them before, obviously. No, it's my first. Ah, uh, so. How do you think you went? Are you happy? Yeah, very happy. Good, good. It's important Wait. that yeah. a husband uh, would uh, happy after <laughs> tasting. Did, did your family or friends try it? My husband tried. I can show you. Oh, please, yes. You want? Okay. I'd love to have one. Can I have one? <laughs> uh -oh. Let me see. Oh, I can't see them. Oh, they're yeah, lovely. It's cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they're very nice. Thank you. Yeah. So what? Uh, so ginger and what? What else did you put inside? What other in ingredients? Ginger, run eggs, some sugar, flour, and okay. the salt. Nice. And butter. Ah, uh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Yeah. Yeah, home um, homemade food and uh, you know home baked cookies and and cake and bread is always the best. You know, when it comes to sweets and desserts, I, I was never a big fan of eating you know out at at the cafe. You know how they have these 
Yeah, me too. Biscuits and cakes, they look so delicious, but actually, you know, once you eat it, it's not as good as it looks. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't, they, they, they use... I mean, not all, but most of them, I believe. They yes, they use uh, artificial flowers. Artif artificial, yes. Yeah, color flower, and it's not very good. I use natural color, like mm, berries, yeah. and natural, mm. all natural. <laughs> very good, yeah. Uh, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. Um, so any plans for this weekend, guys? It's uh, Friday night. I presume it's... Black it's, Friday. It, yeah, it's Black Friday. So mm. ha have you been shopping at all, Xenia? I have enough clothes and shoes, <laughs> so I... You don't need to shop? Yeah, I don't need to shop. Wow, that's impressive. All right. My wife's been shopping behind my back, and I found out today she spent about 50 or 60 pounds on the... What happened here? <laughs> oh, big sale. Yeah, she said, I bought two jackets, they were on sale. It was a bargain. Hmm. Yes, that's what they want you to believe, that everything is a bargain. Hmm. Oh, so, um, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's funny. Hello, Alex. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good to see you. I've met some. Is this the same Alex that we've had you before? Uh, no, it's my first online conversation. Oh, I see. So it, it is a new Alex. Yeah. So welcome, welcome. <laughs> you know how many Alex and Alexanders I have had as students? <laughs> yes, practically. I don't think. I, I, I cannot count them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't count them on my on my two hands. Um, so every time I see Alex, because not always the surname shows up, or maybe it's shortened, so I don't remember all the. Unless you have a background picture, I will remember. So Alex, where are you from? I'm from Belarus, from Gomel. Oh, nice! I don't have that many Belarus students, so I think I'll remember you, hopefully. So. <laughs> So this is the first time you're actually uh, taking part in an online lesson. Yeah. Very good. Well, uh, we'd like to welcome you. My name is Alan. I'm your teacher for this for this nice lesson. To nice to meet you as well. And um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? What are your hobbies and so on? Uh. I'm a worker as a um, salesman shop. Mm -hmm. uh, my hobby is to play football and watch football. Very good. Okay. Which uh, club do you support? Which team do you support? Manchester United. Oh no, please don't. <laughs> 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 oh, because I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs> and Man United are our biggest rivals. We just never seem to beat Manchester United. Even though we played last week and lost at home. Have, did you watch the match? Yes, yes, I watched the match. We should have beaten it to like three nil. It should have been three nil, honestly, in the first half, first fifteen minutes. It's and a genuine tactic from Van Gaal. You know exactly. That's exactly what I what I said. That match or that Manchester United uh, team had Louis Van Gaal written all over it because there was no spectacular performance from Manchester United. It was just tactics from the, the manager and it was obvious so congratulations to you <laughs> Thank you. and now you are ahead of us and I cannot believe that and you are so far below below <laughs> us but anyways it's not the end of the world we still have a lot of matches to be played so don't worry 
we will catch up. <laughs> All right, any other hobbies apart from football? Um. Alex, is there anything else you like? No, anything. <laughs> Uh, so how long have you been learning English? If about one year. Uh, about but a year. my uh, English uh, not so well. No, uh, it's level beginner maybe or pre intermediate. Mm -hmm. uh, it is difficult to say uh, anything on English, mm -hmm. but I practice now. Very good. I'm happy you joined, and hopefully we can help you uh, yeah. to reach the level that you would like to reach. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. Um, so you haven't met Andre, I presume, or Xenia, and Michael. I think we have another new student. Hello, Michael. Hello, Alan. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, hello. Uh, Welcome, Mich Michel. Good uh, morning. I have uh, other picture. Oh, yes. it's All right. I see. Yeah, I met you in the morning. Welcome back, Michel. OK, so Andre, would you mind you know, introducing yourself briefly so Alex can get to know you a bit? Mm, OK. Thank you. I'm from. Kiev, Ukraine. I'm a composer and uh, musician and musicologist. Uh, I play uh, different instruments and I uh, write music and about music also. Uh, but my uh, main work uh, is a manager in this sales company. I uh, work there uh, uh, selling the musical uh, equipment for studios and so on. That's all. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much, Sergey. All right, Xenia, please do us the honor. Just briefly, you know, introduce yourself as well so Alex can get to know you. Xenia? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, your microphone is off. I'm from Russia. I'm 27. I like to learn English. I like cooking. I like sport. And I like watching films. Nice. Mm. Very good. Thank you. Xenia just baked some lovely cookies, by the way. And show is the start of lesson. Yeah, <laughs> she showed us. Oh, they were delicious. Some ginger cookies. Yeah. Mouth-watering. Thank you very much, Xenia. Michal, tell us something about yourself quickly. Uh, I'm from Zaporozhye in Ukraine. Uh, I'm 28. Um, I work engineer, and uh, I really like play bowling and uh, ping pong. Mm -hmm. Ping pong, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm also from Zaporozhye. <laughs> Oh, you're from the same town. Yeah. Cool. I was born there. Mm. And they just born. And uh, do you have maybe parents or friends in Zaporozhye? My brother lives there, uh, and my uh, step brother. You might know each other then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but it's uh, easy to. Uh, it's a small world we're living talk in now. And to <laughs> clarify. Wow, that's so cool. So you, out of all the places, uh, the two of you come from the same town. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. All right, lovely. Thank you, Michal. Did, did you want to add anything else? No, that's all. Okay, great. Thank you. And Sergey, hello, welcome. Hello, um, hello, guys. Yeah, Alex is a new student, so if you if you don't mind, please just giving us a brief intro, so he can get to know you. Okay. So my name is Sergey. I'm 22 years old. 
I am from Ukraine. The town is Bilot Circle. I am really enjoy this English classes. I found it about two months ago. I am into computers. I like all these gadgets. Mm. That's about it. Lovely. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Sergey. Uh, so, Alex, that leaves only myself. Um, so I'm Alan, as you know. I'm actually uh, I'm Australian. In case you're wondering which country I'm from, and I've lived in Australia most of my life, uh, but I've travelled around the world a fair bit. Uh, now I'm living in the UK, and I've also spent about five years in Germany, uh, two years in Egypt, and um, yeah. So I also like football, as you know. Mm -hmm. I actually played football. Uh, I'm not that old. <laughs> uh, it's just that when I got married, I had to stop. You know, things change when you get married. Everything becomes a hobby. So um, yeah, I played a bit of football when I was, uh, you know, when I was a bit younger. Not professionally, but maybe semi-pro to that degree. And um, so. Uh, I like many other sports. I also like table tennis or ping pong. Uh, when I was in Germany, I, you know, played it there and became quite good. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed playing table tennis. And I also like technology. I'm very much into uh, electronics. Um, you know, I like to keep up to date with the latest gadgets and, and so on. And um, history is something I'm also interested in, uh, global history. So I like learning languages, uh, cultures, comparative religion, something I'm also, I'm also interested in. And yeah, that's it pretty much. All right, guys, any questions before we start? No. All right. So. Um, hopefully we will, we will con uh, complete this um, grammar practice worksheet that we are about to do now. We have done it, I think, for two, maybe three lessons already. So um, we are discussing articles. Okay, articles and. Um, we are now on exercise. We've done five already last time. So we have three more exercises to do. <clears throat> For those students who are new and who haven't done this before, um, just a brief recap. Uh, as you know, there are three articles in English. Yeah, uh, and, and the. So there are cases where we have to use one of these or maybe even no article at all. So um, we've already gone through the details of when to use them and when not when not to use any article. So if I go through it again, it'll take forever because it's four pages, I think, or something like that. So let us go through these, and hopefully you can grasp on grasp on and grasp for whatever we're doing. Uh, if you have any questions, Alex or Michael, since you're the newest students, uh, please, you know, don't hesitate to interrupt me and to ask the questions. Okay. So let us continue with this PDF. Exercise six wants us to use the correct article or no article for these sentences below. So let's start from the right. Sergey, how would you complete this first one? In blink summer, we always go to the beach. In the summer, in the summer, we always go to the beach. Okay. Why do you think it's the? Because it's a specific summer, or no? We always use it. There with green summer winter. Ah, 
Good, that's what I want. Yeah. So every time we talk about the seasons of the year, like summer, winter, yeah, we 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 got to use the as the article. And I quick I'll quickly scroll up just to see here where it was so you can see where it is. Using the Yeah. At the very beginning here we have on our, in our chart or table when it comes to time periods <clears throat> also afternoon we say in the afternoon or in the morning in the summer in the winter and so on however when it comes to night we don't mm. use the article we just say at night my sister works at night sorry Okay, just keep that in mind. All right, well done, Sergey. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Number two. Oh, someone's getting a uh, Skype call. Michael. Yeah. I will meet you at uh, eight o'clock in front of the library. No article. I'll meet you at 8 in front of the library. Very good. And why don't we use an article here? Do you know? Um, I don't remember, but uh, I uh, remember when I read many uh, articles. It's always uh, right at 8 o'clock, at 7 o'clock without article. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so when it comes to time, specific time, we don't use the article. Any article, yeah? A, uh, N, the, we don't use. Okay, very good. Well done, Michelle. Ksenia, number three. George loves to go skiing in the winter. We use article there because it's the season. Yeah, very good. Just like the first example, we have to use the. All right, good. Number four, Andre. The architect scheduled the meeting for Monday, July 6, mm, without article, mm. I suppose. <laughs> Why do you think it's without the article? Oh. Usually we uh, say on Monday uh, uh, because uh, Monday the uh, day of the weeks uh, mm -hmm. uh, usually used without article. Monday, Tuesday, we don't say the Monday or a Monday. Yeah, good. Yeah, so when it comes to these days, especially Actually, it's giving us a date. Mm -hmm. yeah, so on Monday, July 6. So there's no article needed when we talk about dates. Okay. Very good. Number five. Alex. I can't believe that you came at 7 o'clock in the morning. What a, what a wild night. Uh, I think uh, article that we should use. Article the. Yeah, good. And why do we say the? Because it's uh, time period, period of time. Morning. The, yes, yes. Yeah, excellent. Just like I mentioned earlier, yeah. Uh, uh, when it comes to time periods like morning, afternoon, we say in the morning. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. All right. Six. Sergey. The American Revolution took, play, took place during the 19th century. The American Revolution took place during the 18th century. Yes, correct. Why? 
because it's a specific time, 18th century? Mm. Yes. Actually, there is a, let me show you, a specific part here, a box that talks about this period. And it's when it comes to historical, there it is, historical periods of time. Okay? So with historical periods of time, like the Ice Age, or anything to do with centuries, yeah, like 20th century, you know, the 10th century, 19th century, or Middle Ages, we use the, we have to use the, Okay, well done, Sergey. Good. So let's keep going. Number seven, Michael. Maybe the last time I saw Raymond, he was working in a coffee shop. <coughs> so you're saying it's the? Yeah. Yeah. Good. The last time I saw Raymond, he was working in a coffee shop. Very good. The last time. Excellent. You know, you might hear some natives say, last time I saw Raymond. They're just lazy and they're dropping the. Grammatically, we should use this article. Yeah, We have to say, the last time I saw Raymond, he was working in a coffee shop. Okay, I just thought I'd mention that. Eight, <clears throat> Xenia. Kristen doesn't work on weekends, she works on Mondays. Without article. Why? Because on, after preposition on. No, it's mm -hmm. weekends also, because it's weekends. It's a plural. Ah. So we. Yes. This is this is the reason. If there was no s, <clears throat> you could say on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, because you'll be referring to a specific weekend, perhaps. But if you're saying in general, any weekend, so all weekends, yeah. Kristen does not work on weekends. So every weekend she doesn't work. So this is why no article is required. Very good. All right, excellent. Number nine, Andre. Uh, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci painted in uh, the Renaissance. The. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, it's a definite epoch in the um, painting arts. Mm -hmm. But what does Renaissance mean? Uh, Renaissance, like Baroque, like uh, other trends in the history of the arts. Mm -hmm. The Baroque. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so I'm okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, you're correct. We say the yeah, but why do we say Renaissance? Actually, it's it's referring when we say Renaissance in here, it's referring to a time, a historical period. A historical period, yes. Yeah. The specific. Yeah. It was the revival of the European art, wasn't it, and literature? the 14th, between 14th and 16th centuries. So this is actually representing a time period, historical time period. Yeah, yeah? so... In different countries it was in different period, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, we know where they're from, yeah. Michel Michelangelo, Leonardo, Da Vinci, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case we got to use the... Very good. Okay, here we go. Now it gets challenging. So here we have a few paragraphs, and um, the same story or the same principle applies. Choose the correct 
article or no article at all. All right, so let's have a look. Let's look at the first sentence. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger for you so maybe you can read it better. So the first sentence, Alex. OK. Uh, last Tuesday was the first day of school for the spring semester. Bravo. Excellent. <laughs> that was good. Well done. So here we have to use the, the first day. Because of, of the, yeah, go uh, ahead. First, second, uh, we should use with the. Ah, bravo. That's it. I'll show it to you right here. Where is it? Um, <laughs> sorry, I just want to make sure because when I show you, yeah, with ordinal numbers and ranking words. So the first time, the next time, the previous time, the second book I bought for the course and so on. Yeah, very good. Well done. So you know this. Okay, I'm impressed. Well done. Okay, so we got the first one done. Excellent. And then here there's no article needed of school, first day of school. Yeah, school in general. Yeah, we're talking about the school, going back to school. For the spring semester. Spring semester is a time period. Yes, very good. Okay, what about the next sentence? Okay, the next sentence also has three. All right, mm -hmm. Sergey. However, when I woke up and looked, <coughs> sorry, mm -hmm. I woke up and looked out of the window, I noticed that there was a lot of, of snow, a lot of the snow. So first one Z, mm -hmm. then A, and then again Z. However, when I woke up and looked out of the window, I noticed that there was a lot of the snow. Mm. Okay, two okay. are two are correct. One is incorrect. Uh, I think the last there uh, is red redundant. No. Not no, needed uh, in this. No, no snow is uncountable. It's uh, uncountable. Yes, it's just a yeah. abstract. Yeah. Why is there no article here? Because snow. Like rain, mm -hmm. like you know, it, it's it's got to do with weather. We we can't count it, yeah. Don't forget mm -hmm. that. So when it's uncountable, we don't use the, uh, any article here. Yeah. So you've said everything else correct correctly. So however, when I woke up and looked out the window, I noticed that there was a lot of snow outside. All right, good. And also, another reason why we, uh, well, actually, no, I don't want to mention that. I don't want to confuse you. That's correct. So the next sentence, Michael. Uh, the snow was so uh, hard uh, that I couldn't uh, see my car. The snow was so high that I couldn't see my car. Okay, so the? Yeah. And then no article. Yeah. Very good. And now why do we say the here? Because uh, we uh, talk about snow before. Oh, very good. Yes. Have you, have you done one of these, uh, actually the last time? in my lesson. No. You weren't here. That's good. That's impressive. So, because snow was already introduced in the previous sentence, we already know about snow. We, we've mentioned it. Now we can say the snow. 
Yeah. However, if you are introducing it the first time, like here, we we cannot say the. We can say a uh, if it's viable, if it's possible, but we cannot say a uh, or n because snow is uncountable. So we we say no article. All right. Very good. And here, uh, yeah, the snow was high that I couldn't see my car. We can't say the my car or a my car because we have my. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very good. All right, next one. Xenia? It was covered with, and then I couldn't see because I use iPad. And oh, so should I, should I move it a bit to the right? How's that? Oh, it's... It was covered with the snow. Mm -hmm. I got dressed, but I couldn't find my boots. The boots were under a bed. Mm. Okay, so let's have a look again. Uh, it was covered with the snow. With the snow. Mm. Because we mentioned previous, or no? What do the others think? Does anyone disagree? No, I think without article, but uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah. we, maybe we, um, it's good mm -hmm. to say we snow without article. Yeah, it's better to say with that. Actually, yeah. So it was covered with snow. Because we snow... Is there, is there, there, it's not very good sound, I think. Yeah, you're right. If we say it was covered with the snow, okay, we're just using snow um, in general. Yeah. Mm. If we say the snow, why would you want to say the snow? It means that you're talking about a specific snow. Well, when we talk about snow, you know, in this case, there's no need to make it specific. We're just saying general. So it was covered with snow. All right. And then I got dressed, but, but I couldn't find my boots. My boots. Mm -hmm. Then we use their boots because previous were mm. under. Yes, good. The boots were under. A bed. Hmm. Not one bed, but his brain, uh, bed. But no, maybe not his bed. Maybe in the his house, many rooms with many beds. We don't know. It's possible, but uh, bed uh, <laughs> boots um, may uh, placed only under one bed. Mm -hmm. Definite bed. Uh -huh. That or those, that is why that should be used. Okay, let me let me mention this first at the beginning. The boots, we know why we say the. Mm -hmm. Because the boots were just introduced. Yeah. Okay, so we say the boots. You know specific boots we're talking about. Her boots. Yeah. The boots were, were under. The bed is correct. But why do we say the bed? Why not a bed? Because the bed, bed here is, is understood. Yeah, it's understood and it's not really important in this sentence. Yeah, it's, it's just generally understood in this sentence. Uh, for example, uh, let me give you another example. Oh. There is a hat on the bed. Okay, we're talking about the uh, a hat. This is what the focus is. On the on the bed, it's just generally understood, and it's not important. So we say the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Then the next one. I went. Andre. It's for me. Oh, I went, Andre. Andre? I went outside uh, and found 
What is it? Shovel? I don't know what uh, is this word. Shovel. Uh, shovel. Found. Okay. okay, let's let's talk about this word. Who knows what shovel means? In Russian language, it means lopata. Ah, lopata. Did you have to say it in Russian? I would have loved for you to try to explain it. <laughs> in English, you're cheating. <laughs> Alex, oh, was that you? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lopata. I found uh, a shovel next to the door. There and to there. Yes, this is the perfect example of a previous uh, a previous uh, sentence. So I uh, I went outside and found a shovel. Shovel is being introduced. Mm -hmm. It's ca it's countable, so we can say a. And previously we couldn't say a snow, because snow is not countable. In this case, we are introducing shovel, so we can say a shovel next to the door. The door is generally understood, so we don't have to say a, and we can use the. We're not introducing the door, we're introducing shovel. shovel. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> but this is usually the case. When you want to introduce something, and you're focusing on this noun, the noun that follows can have the article. All right? Okay. Next one. Alex. There was a strange sight in front of the house. Aha. Uh -huh. Why do we say the house? The house because uh, it's understood. Ah, marvelous. Marvelous. And here we say a strange sight. This is what we're focusing on. This is what the um, you know, our main the main noun in this case. There was a strange sight in front of the house. The house is generally understood and it's not really important in this sentence. Okay, next one. Very good. Sergey? Uh, deer was standing on blank line, looking at me. Deer was standing on the lawn, looking at me. The first one, I'm confused. Maybe a, a deer, because you see it for the first time. Yes, very good. We are introducing, what's the focus noun? Deer. Deer. Do you know what a deer is? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's an animal. Rudel or something close. Yeah, good. Rudolf, no, I forgot his name. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, so a deer was standing on the, on the, on lawn, the lawn. Looking at me. Yeah. A lawn here is not, it's, it's generally understood or it's not important, so we can say the lawn. What's lawn, by the way? Who knows what lawn is? Grass. Yeah, it's another name for grass. So if I need to cut the grass, I need to mow the lawn. This is another um, way of saying cutting the grass. I'll type it for you in case you didn't know about this. Yeah, so usually in summer, we need to mow the lawn every week, especially in the UK, because the grass grows, so, or the lawn rather, grows unbelievably quickly. All right, next sentence. Michael. Uh, yes. Mm, the deer, deer, the deer did not move and uh, did not move either. Oh, and I didn't uh, move either. Mm -hmm. Why do we say the? Because we just talk about deer. Yeah. Yeah, so we know about it. It's been introduced, so we can say the deer. It's a specific deer that I just mentioned, for example, yeah? Very good. The deer did not move, and I didn't move either. Next one. Ksenia. We looked at each other for a few minutes. We looked at each other for... A few minutes. Very good. For a few minutes. Yeah, when it comes to these expressions, we say ah, a few minutes. 
because of you a lot of yeah. you should use a mm -hmm. very good well done Xenia what about the next one Andre um, then uh, then a deer ran down the street hmm then okay. a deer ran down the street. Or, no, of course, there. <laughs> ah, now this is where it becomes challenging. Mm -hmm. Do we say a deer or the deer? Uh, okay, the street is correct. Deer uh, mentioned uh, a third time. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe it's a situation like with uh, no, I don't know. Uh, we can use uh, a. Why would you use a? Now, then that means you're talking about a different deer. We're still talking about the same deer. Uh, yeah, because this this is a story. Uh, we need to use uh, always the. Uh huh. This situation. If, yes. So. Okay. The usual, the usual uh, formulas, so to speak, is when you introduce the noun, mm -hmm. say ah, yeah. yeah, and then the second noun in that sentence is the because it's not important or it's generally understood. Now, if we are talking about the same noun that we've mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, we 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 use that because we know about it already. So it doesn't matter how many sentences. Follow. If we're talking about the same noun, we gotta use that. Okay. All right. The, the deer. Yeah. Street. Very good. So then the deer ran down the street. All right. What about this one here? Alex. I was, I was ready to shovel and I saw two squirrels next to the tree. I think. Uh, we should use the three. Mm. Why? I'm not sure, but I think um, we talk about uh, mm. okay. ways. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's um, intuitive. <laughs> So see how you see how confusing articles can be in English. <laughs> it's difficult. All right. So, by the way, shovel can be either a noun or or a verb, right? In this case, what is it? Uh, it's a verb. Verb. Yeah. To shovel. Mm -hmm. So same meaning. A shovel is the actual tool that we use to dig. Lopata, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like you said in Russian. Um, I also speak, you know, Serbian, Bosnian, by the way, in case you're wondering. So it's the same in that language. Uh, I was ready to shovel, and I saw two squirrels. So what? what what's the focus, or what's the main noun in this sentence? Two squirrels. That's the one. So we don't really care about the tree, do we? So it's generally understood, just like the other examples, or it's uh, not important, so we can say the tree. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to make tree the standout noun, or the important noun, we would say a, uh, and that means you're introducing tree now. You see? So I could easily say I was ready to shovel and I saw two squirrels next to a tree. Mm -hmm. But now I'm introducing the tree, so I'm giving it some importance. Okay? okay? But if you say the tree, it's not important. We're talking about the two squirrels now. That's the importance. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Yes. All right. Let's have a look at the next one then. Um... Okay, we have Alexander. Hello, Alexander. Alexander, can you hear me? 
the new student with the lovely background. We, we can't hear you. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Hello. Yes, how are you, Alexander? Hello. Yeah? I can hear you. Can you hear me? My name is Alexander. I'm from Kharkov. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, so... Uh, sorry? What are you doing here right now? Uh, yeah, what we're doing is we have to use an article Yeah, in the sentences. Oh, yeah. As you see, there are gaps. There are some words missing. So you have to either use um, the, a, an, or no article. Okay, understood. Yeah, so let's see. What do you think the next sentence is? There were... Oh, we added... Well, we nothing about it. There were animals everywhere. Without article. Ah, it's very good. There, there were animals everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we use an article here? Because animals. Animals, it's... It means a few animals, not one animals. Yes. Could we say there were the animals? Animals. Uh. You're correct, actually. Yeah, it's there is no article needed, but yeah, we can we can uh, add it in there, mm -hmm. and because or no because. Of it. But if we do have the animals, that means the meaning changes now in a way, because you would be referring to. Uh, a certain group of animals, specific animals. Oh, look, there are the animals. Yeah, but in this case, we don't need an article because we're talking about animals in general. Yeah, there were animals everywhere. Yeah, so a lot of animals, n no specific animals. Yeah. Okay, good. What about the last sentence, Sergey? Think. Well, uh, since I understood your explanation, I think we don't need articles here, the first one. So without articles, squirrels love to run everywhere, run, uh, love to run around even. Um, also without articles, no. Okay, so the beginning here, there is no need for an article, correct. Squirrels, because yeah, it's plural, and we're talking about squirrels in general. So squirrels. For example, before I don't know if you remember, we had lions love meat. Lions love meat or love to eat meat. Yeah. Same here. Squirrels love to run around, even in the snow. Okay, here we say in the snow. Because it was mentioned. Yeah. Perhaps it was mentioned, yeah, and it's it's also generally understood. This is the closest. It's generally understood. Okay. Alright, um I don't know if we're gonna have time to finish. We still have about two or three minutes. So let's keep going. So next one. Michael. I shoveled a driveway and found the car. I shoveled... Why do you say a driveway? The driveway. Because we talk about driveway first. Ah, uh, now you have to think. See, it depends. The sentence usually uh, depends on the context here. You know what a driveway is? What's a driveway? It's some road, maybe. So to house or something. Yeah, usually the piece of um, land or surface in front of your house. 
Yeah, so yeah. The, the driveway belongs to you. It's part of your property. In America, you know, in Australia, we have this. So if you have a house, in front of your house, you have a little driveway where you can, you know, park your car on it, or maybe drive onto to get into your garage or garage. So here it's understood that driveway is your driveway. So you can say the driveway. I shoveled the driveway because you're looking for your car and found the car. Yeah. Okay, so in this case you're shoveling your driveway to find your car. Not any car, you want your car. So here it's specific, so we say the car. And driveway is also specific because it's yours. You wouldn't shovel a driveway, that means any driveway. You would shovel your own. Okay, does that make sense? In the winter, I usually park in the garage, but last night I forgot. Very good. So we have the and the it's again. Season. Yes. And park in the garage because it's own garage. Excellent. Yes. Well done. Okay, let's keep it moving quicker. So, next sentence. Alex? It, it took me a long time to clean the snow of the car. Yes, very good. It took me a long time to clean the snow off the car. So, again, long time we use a. Uh, a long time, a little bit, a few times. When we use these, you know, words, we have to say uh, to clean the snow off the car again. Your car, specific car. Good. Next sentence. Alexander. Yeah. Uh, we add. You are adding article n because it was a unusual morning. It was a unusual morning. Mm. Ah, did you say ah? Eh, eh, yeah. Mm. Do we agree, guys? Maybe then. No, it I was. No, any articles. Uh, no, Alexander, you are actually almost correct. But we don't say a, uh, we have to say an. Yeah. An. Why do we say an? Because first, uh, uh, the first word uh, begins with a. Uh. Yes, it's a vowel sound. The beginning of this word is a vowel sound. Okay, a, uh, unusual, unusual. So it was an unusual. Okay, morning. All right, very good. Next sentence. Sergey. After one hour of work, I was ready to go to the school. Mm -hmm. The school. Mm -hmm. After one hour of work, I was ready to go to In the school. Mm. No. Okay. Does anyone disagree? No, article. Go to school. Why? Senia? Because it's a common phrase and ah. always saying go to school. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. Like here at the very beginning, we had the same story. Last Tuesday was the first day of school. Yeah, when it comes to work, school, Church. I was ready to go to church. I was ready to go to work. But go to the theater, yeah? The theater? Yeah, we have to say the, the theater. Yeah, it's different. Or the cinema. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to have to end because we've gone over time. I'd love to continue. Uh, it's quite a lot. This is not easy because we have to understand the text, follow the story. Make sure you're understanding what's being spoken about. 
So I think we'll have to continue and finish it off next time because we still have one more exercise, uh, another one like that, even more challenging. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. You've done uh, extremely well, I have to say. Um, nice to meet you, Alex. Thank you. And nice to meet you, too. All right. I hope you have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you next week. Good luck. Thank with you. Very Thank you. Thank you. All right. All the best, guys. Bye-bye. See you.